I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna do a beginner's Inkscape tutorial making 2D flat vector art, specifically a vanity plate. And here's some examples of ones I've done in the past. Here's Florida, too fast for you. Here's a Hawaii skydive, Massachusetts chowda, you get it? And then good old Boston. But today, we're gonna do this one, Later Gator because someone's gotta make that. Uh, the reason I'm choosing vanity plate is this it's very simple, they're quick, and the steps we're gonna do, there's some real good basic Inkscape skills you can use now or like on later projects. So let's, let's get started. We'll go with the rectangle and squares tool and then pull out a rectangle and then see if you don't have your fill and stroke menu, it's this paintbrush on the corner and we don't need to be red, we're gonna go I actually cheated. I brought in this color palette here just to speed up the tutorial. So there's a couple ways you can change color. You can move around in the triangle and go around in the circle out here. I'll use the eyedropper and then choose my light gray. Now I don't need this border, but before we go there, let's touch on this key skill, how to make a rounded corner. See how like the plates have a rounded corner? There's two ways. You can go to edit paths by node and then you'll notice one of your corners turns into a circle. And then you can you can you can make it as make it as round as you want, uh, but then or you can go to your regular uh, rectangle and and uh, square tool, and it also allows you to move it. So that looks good right about there. And then just a just a, a key thing to remember, at least when I was beginning, I would forget that I rounded a corner. And then the next time you play with Inkscape, you pull out a square or a rectangle, and it's got the rounded corners, and you just you're like, what's going on here? So if you do round it, just remember. All you have to do is go to edit paths by node or back to your rectangle and square, and then you can unround the corner for later. But for now, it looks good. All right, so for this one, we don't need the, the black border, so go to your stroke and then just X out of that. But now I do want to make this inner border, so to make it easily, I'll do Control D, which duplicates my plate, and then so we can see it better, let's make this one like a, a random orange. And now I do want a stroke on this one. So for my stroke, black, but I want it to be this light gray. So I'll eyedropper my medium gray actually. And then it's too thin for stroke style. I'll just, I'll just choose like 8.5. Now I don't need to fill in that one, so X out of that. All right, so the next tip, there's a, a tool called Enable Snapping. It's usually on default. So if you're up on the very top here, this like magnet with electricity, Enable Snapping, normally it's enabled and see what happens is it just pulls your two things together, clicks them right in, and it's a great feature, but not for this part. So unclick it, so now snapping's not enabled, and then we can manually move this around. Because what I have to do is I have to resize my border so it fits inside. I'll just do Control and Shift together to, to make it a little bit smaller. And then let's see where it's sitting. Um, make this a little bit wider. And that's pretty good, but then if you wanna be more precise, there is this align distribute menu. So it's just like bar graph here. So click on that and then where did it go? Down here, there it is. Okay, so we have last selected. All that means is that the two pieces, whichever I select last, I'll go shift and click the plate. It's gonna align based on that. So I wanna center my inner border and the plate, which is this thing here, center. And then why not? We'll do the vertical part too. So center vertically as well. Zoom in. And that is good. Now we can write Florida and Sunshine State. So choose your Create and Edit Text Objects. I have it set to Arial Bold, which is a very common font we should all have. And then just write out Florida. And then for the colors, I'll go back to Fill and Stroke. I drop this green, but I need it to be spaced out more. So up here, you can adjust the kern. This is the kerning. I'll go to 50. I like how that's more spaced out. And then you can actually be more selective on your font if you have a better one that you like. But if you want to cheat, and I want to make this Florida, the, the letters a little bit thicker, you can go to Stroke Style, make sure the stroke paint is on. And I'll, I'll keep it on the same color, but then for the, the weight, I'm going to go, let's try 3.0. That's too thick, maybe 2. I like that. All right, so we have Florida. And then to, to double cheat, I will do Control D, duplicate it because now I have the settings the way I want it for the bottom part, Sunshine State. So we'll go to Sunshine State. So now we can put in Florida, it's too big, but at least we have, oh, that looks really, it does look like a plate. And then remember the Align and Distribute uh, menu, so we'll go to that. So I have my Florida, I'm gonna shift and then hold the, the plate itself or last selected and that'll center it. 
and then Sunshine State is way too big. Shift and Control will, will resize it evenly. That's pretty good right there. Okay, and then we'll do um, same thing. This is selected, Shift, select the plate, and then center it on my Align Distribute. This is, this is too low. All right, we're getting closer. Now, to do the actual plate numbers, I do want a special font for this, and not everyone has it. It's called Bebes Noye. And I think this is a great font for a lot of applications. Now, if you don't have it, you can still use Arial. It'll still look good. If you do have it, use it. Um, or I'll actually put a link in the description below on how to download it for free. It's now an open source font. I just don't want to spend too much time on like download install fonts. Uh, maybe we can actually do that later, different tutorial. But uh, okay, so Bebes Noye. And then you don't have to write Later Gator. You can write anything you want. You could do your name, something a little bit more clever. But we're going to go with this. So later gator. I'm just manually resizing it. But I will use the um, this tool. So shift for the plate. Align, distribute, center that. And then for color, if you click just on the item, go to my fill and stroke. And then I'll eye drop the green. All right. So this looks kind of flat. It's fine. But we're going to use an effect. So under filter, it has bevels. And these are all different choices, but the one we'll try today is called metal casting. And then that's like, that's like way overdone, but that's all right. If you want to adjust the amount of the filter, go back to filters and choose filter editor. And it doesn't always pop up the menu. Sometimes you have to click on a different menu, then come back to it. So here it is. So there's a little bit of stuff to unpack here. So color matrix, we're going to come back to Gaussian blur. Now you can, you can see all these different things you can do with it, but we want to do a real minimum amount so it's not too busy. Maybe that was good for a second ago. Maybe 1.5, maybe 1.4. And that's just, just giving it some relief. It gives it a little bit of um, an effect. And then specular lighting, this is what's going to really um, complete the effect here. So there's a lot of stuff going on. If you go to the azimuth, that changes like the light direction. Kind of cool. Um, so just maybe wherever you want it. I like it kind of coming from the top down right there. And then constant, this will change the color back to where you want it. So I can go more colorized there. And then back to color matrix, the value will finalize it and make it that green that you need. So this can be anywhere you want. But I like that green right there. And we're almost done. But the reason I wanted to go with the Florida plate is it has the most difficult feature, which is you have to get the the graphic of the state to kind of look like it's actually stamped underneath. So let's do that part now. So we're not going to draw the state. We're going to use um, Wiki Commons as a place you can download stuff um, that's open source. So we've got it right here. I will put this link in the description. This is just the, the map of Florida. So I've already downloaded it here. I'm going to now I'm going to bring it back into Inkscape. Let me grab it. And you have a choice. It says um, SVG import type. Yes, SVG. 300 DPI is fine. And then none for rendering. Okay. And then there is our state of Florida. And this is a vector file, which means we can manipulate it. It's not going to pixelate when we scale it. So it's the wrong color. So let's just make it roughly the size we want. And then I'll close my filter editor. And then go to my fill and stroke. I will choose the eyedropper to orange. And that's kind of cool, but we've got those lines there. We'll get rid of the lines later. So let's just resize it where you want it. I don't want to center this because I want it to actually, I want to control where it goes. But you do want to make sure up here, there's different hierarchies. So I want to drop it behind the lettering. So these, these like books here, drop it one down, drop it two down, three down, I'm behind everything there. Let's get rid of these white county lines now. So whatever color orange you have as your state, choose that as your stroke color. So I'm going to choose my orange and then there they go. So while you have the state selected, shift and collect the digits, then do control D. So what we're doing now is we're going to bring that off. We're going to create the shaded part. So since they're already selected, let's say you didn't have them selected, select the digits, then select the state by holding shift when you click on both, then go to object, clip, set. <laughs> okay. And then th this is going to be the shaded part. So now remember before we talked about the snapping, this is when we want snapping. So I go to snapping and I make sure it's enabled because I'm going to have this slide right on top of where it belongs. So it's going to be seamless. So I'll zoom in 
and the snapping guide will help get it in there, right? It just snapped right in. So to do this part, to make this part darker for like the effect, go to filters and then color, simple blend. And with this menu, you wanna be on darken. So if you're not on darken, it might be on normal or something, go to darken. And then I've got my color in the mid to dark grays right there. Cause I'm trying to, to create an effect where it looks like the, the digits are on top of this, like the plate already had the Florida on it and then they stamped in the, the digit. So if I do live preview, it should take effect. Live pre <laughs> I like it. I like, you can you can move it around, but that's pretty good. So I'll go to apply, close, and let's see what we got here. There it is. It's our Florida vanity plate. You can make these, have fun with it, change the slogans, try other states, and I, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. Uh, later, Gator.